Mora, Minnesota welcomes a new hometown hero, but the man drawing crowds <gasps> is cast in bronze, touching military families like Kareen Karantz. I lost my husband in November. And it's just the whole thing. Just to think what they went through for our freedom. It opens people up to look at their own hearts. Gulf War veteran Brian Zimmerman understands because this sculpture was modeled after him. This brings people out and it pops the top off emotions. Artist Anita Miller chose Brian as her subject after he came to see her traveling memorial, Eyes of Freedom, painted for fallen Marines, learning of Brian's struggle with PTSD. Really his whole body that's speaking. Helped Anita shape a vision, and after two years, his sculpture, titled Silent Battle, debuted near his Minnesota home for the first time. Now with, with seeing the struggle of people trying to navigate life after combat, and recognizing that that's a very real and alive need that is present. So the mission now expands from art exhibit to mental health resource. With each stop now, they can see the battle is no longer silent. I get to swoop in as a guy that served with these men, and while the guard is down, we're having some very real conversations. I think by the time they walk out the door, that it is healing already because it gets them to open up and look in their soul at what, what's trapped in there. In Mora, Lindsay Sievert, CARE 11 News. Beautiful gift there. Brian Sculpture has an official unveiling at the Mora Civic Center tomorrow and will continue to travel the country.